Let's install Python on Linux. I'm going to be using Ubuntu. First, make sure you are on your desktop. Open up any web browser like Firefox, which comes with Ubuntu. And then type in python.org forward slash downloads and press enter in the address bar. Look at the latest version number. It should be right next to download Python on the yellow button. Make note of this number. Now we have to open the terminal. You can do this by pressing the Windows key, which gives you a search bar. Or if you don't have a Windows key, you can click on the grid of boxes in the bottom left of your screen. You can click on that and then type in terminal and then click on terminal. Now we have to type some commands. If you would like to check how much disk space you have, you can type in df space dash h and then type a space and a forward slash and press enter. This will tell you how much space you have. For Python, you need about 200 megabytes. You can see that I have 12 gigabytes and one gigabyte is 1000 megabytes. So I have more than enough. The next command that we have to type is sudo space apt dash get space update. And what this command does, sudo elevates us, elevates our permissions so that we're an admin. And then apt get update makes sure that we have updated the installation modules. It's going to prompt you for your password, type it, press enter, and it will work. And then we have to type in another command after this one. Once this finishes, you will see your username and a blinking cursor again. Type sudo space apt space install space dash y space w get space curl and then press enter. It downloads and installs the curl module now type sudo space apt space install space dash y space open ssl space lib ssl dash dev and press enter and once that finishes we have to install a few more modules type sudo space apt space install space dash y space build dash essential space z lib 1g dash dev and then type another space and now type lib n Curses 5 dash dev and press enter. And once that finishes, we have to type another command. Let's type sudo space apt space install space dash y space lib g d b m dash dev space lib n ss3 dash dev space lib read line dash dev space lib ffi dash dev space 
lib sql it sqlite three dash dev space lib b z two dash dev and press enter. And now that we have all of these modules, we're going to type in cd space forward slash opt and press enter. This changes our directory to the opt directory. Now, remember the version that you read on the Python webpage, which is the latest version. Now we have to add it as an environment variable called pv, which stands for Python variable. Now, first let's type in pv equals and now you have to remember what the version number was at this point in time for me it's 3.9.6 but it might be different for you now i'm going to press enter so that has registered it as an environment variable now i'm going to type in another command we're going to do sudo uh, space wget and we're going to type in a hyperlink https colon forward slash forward slash uh, www.python.org forward slash ftp forward slash python forward slash dollar sign pv we're using the environment variable now forward slash python make sure the p is capitalized do a dash dollar sign pv dot tgz and now i'm going to press enter and it downloads the archive that we need in order to install Python. This archive has Python in it. And we're gonna type in another command. We're gonna type in sudo space tar space xzvf and another space. We're gonna do Python capital P dash dollar sign PV dot TGZ. Press enter and a whole lot of lines of code will appear. We're going to change directory to the archive that we just extracted. Do cd space python capital P and dash dollar sign pv press enter and we change directory. Now we're going to do period forward slash configure space dash dash enable dash optimization with a s at the end. Optimizations, plural optimizations, right? Press enter. Wait for that to crunch everything. And now type make, press enter. And now type sudo space make space alt install and press enter. Now we must confirm that Python is successfully installed. Look at the directory that you're currently in. Take the first two numbers and remember them. For me, it's 3.9. So now type Python and now the first two numbers, so I'm going to type 3.9. It could be different for you. Now, type space dash dash version and press enter. And it gives me the latest version. And that's how I know that Python has successfully installed. Perhaps now read or watch the tutorial about how to make a virtual environment. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Python.